Okay, guys, so I'm here with Alex and Ashley. It's really good to see you. You guys are from Source. We're in front of the stand right now. Could you tell us a little bit more about what it is that you do? Well, there are 2.6 billion people around the world that don't have safe, clean drinking water. And we manufacture a hydro panel that provides drinking water to remote communities wherever they are, from Australia to the Pacific to America to African communities right direct into their home. Can you tell me a little bit more about that process? What, how does that solar hydro panel work that you create? Okay, so the panel itself essentially captures pure water vapor from the air and it brings it into the panel and then essentially condenses it through temperature change and it collects all of that pure water vapor into liquid water where it's then um, circulated, mineralized for health and taste, make sure that that water stays pure and clean and then it's distributed directly to the communities that need it. So it all happens right in that panel that's just really the same size as a solar panel. What is needed and what do people need to know when it comes to uh, ensuring a water secure world here at the conference? That we think about all people. I mean, we're here, we think about clean drinking water for all and it's not leaving behind certain groups. You see, I think remote communities in Australia, you've got two million Australians that are not currently getting their water quality checked. And so having a solution for those people that are, you know, that fall in between of the cracks, that's where, you know, innovation like ours and others can really fix that problem. Just to add to that, I would say native and indigenous populations in Australia, here, and the island nations as well, right? These are the people who are most affected by climate change, but least likely to cause it. And so you really think about these people as the ones that get left behind and, and as the ones where they may be in remote communities where traditional infrastructure is difficult or is challenged, but it's important to them historically to stay there. And we also recognize that there's a big cultural piece to water access. When you cause people to have to travel to collect water. They're leaving native lands. They're leaving places where they've belonged for centuries to go closer to water. But when we can bring a clean source of safe drinking water to them, we, we do more than just provide that drink. We maintain their culture as well. And it's something that I think resonates really deeply with us. And certainly we've heard from others this week as well. Hey, and moving forward from this conference, uh, what, what are you guys hoping for? What are you hoping for with regards to getting that water secure world that we need to move towards? I think closing the gap by 2030, I mean, that's where we want to go to. So then every community around the world has that safe, clean drinking water direct to their home, sanitation's there, and I think closing the gap's most important. Well, Alex, Ashley, thank you so much, and honestly, keep on doing the good work, because it's amazing work that you guys do.